4 a.m. I got up at 3.15 ish. Obviously I have makeup on, I'm already ready to go. We are about to head out to Aiken for the NPC Border Clash. I just put makeup on to be awake, because I'm not awake. I grab all my foods and get on this road trip. Are you ready? Are you ready? going on there These are good cold. I love the chocolate chip coal can you say that again they're good cold <laughs> so we finished up the morning show it was a little bit slow in the morning they have our fender booth set up in like a really weird spot so we didn't get that much of, like walking traffic but we did sell like a good amount of cookies for the amount of people who came by if that makes sense um, and then I went straight to Gold's gym and did my cardio and now we're at Starbucks, we have like a quick 30 minutes, and I'm currently trying to upload the video I edited yesterday, but it may or may not be up in time before we have to get back, so. It's not Google Fiber. It says 31 minutes remaining, but we have to be back at 4.30, so. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> It's like they don't even know if it's you or me. Which one is it? Your eyebrows are like caterpillars. <laughs> How do I, am I recording? Yes, recording. Okay, look down. Look down. Sam? Wait. I just can't get it how my eyes see it. I mean, it is pretty long. It looks like fans, not flap them. And what's flap them? Like flap them. Is that flap them? Yeah. <laughs> 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 And just like that, it is Monday. So yesterday I got home at like 9.30 in the morning, went straight to the gym and just got it over with because I was like exhausted and I knew if I went home, like game over. So unpacked, prepped my meals for the week and then fell asleep because I was running on like three hours of sleep, lots of travel, lots of work. And then the days before that, I really didn't get much sleep either, maybe like four or five hours. And it was just like very nonstop. So, and traveling always like, just like makes you extra tired too so we got this I'm gonna try to get in a full day of eating I just I did my cardio this morning woke up at 4 like I always do um, did cardio drank some BCA's and then I also like to have a scoop of BCA's post cardio um, kind of helps me I try to push my breakfast out to like 7 so that I have like enough hours or enough food for the day because anyway when you wake up at four and like you're doing cardio especially now i'm doing a lot of extra cardio um you get hungry but we're four weeks out and i'm seeing some really big changes like my abs finally came out so i'm pretty excited um i'm kind of starting to see my competition physique come out and that's exciting so i kind of think that maybe now i can actually be ready like i was really questioning it before but i think now if i push really hard we got this so i'm actually gonna look at plane tickets today but yeah here we go so i've got all my stuff packed in my fitmark bag here for the day these are ashton's meals for the day and I got an English muffin for him toasting up in there. So yeah, see you guys in the next clip. All right, so meal one at work is egg white oats that I make all the time with some cinnamon 
and a tiny little side of strawberries with the biggest strawberry I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's so big. Look how big this strawberry is. This is insane. These are the organic ones, which are so much better. So yeah, time to work. Meal two, grilled chicken and some butter lettuce. And of course, you know, I'm gonna mustard the shit out of it because duh, so yeah. Ashton's eating this little turkey breast thingy with cheese and little like chocolate covered almonds or something. And then this like Korean potatoes and chicken and stuff. It smells really good. Um, yeah, chicken. I'll show you in a minute. There it is. So it's Korean style chicken and potatoes. It's kind of a smaller meal. I think it's actually pretty low in calories. Oh, it's in there. What is it? 250 calories. Nice. Vagina. Not. You said vagina on the vlog. For no reason. I meant it's like for women. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're one of the few that just allow you to do that. It's a little bit better. So what you could do is you could try some again. So it's 12.30, I'm gonna eat meal three now. And so I usually do this like container saving thing and I will try to bring like only one or two containers to save space and dishes. And then I'll put the rest of my meals in little Ziplockies. So I've got like some shredded lettuce, turkey, and then rice and broccoli in this one here just because I couldn't fit it all in one container or one ziplock and then I'm going to just reuse the container for my previous meal and I'm not even I'm not even gonna rinse it because I'm just gonna put more mustard in it so don't judge don't judge that goes in there that goes in there and we party gym time and we stack in a little tiny bit of monster that was left over. One scoop of this pump pre-workout in red apple, which is bomb AF. An intra workout, I will stick in my shaker here a scoop of BCAs because I always drink BCAs. And this blue golden flavor is bomb. Hey, what's up? What is up you guys? So I thought I would do a commentary over this because I haven't done one in forever. I actually haven't done workout footage for you guys in a really, really long time. Um, just because I've been like really crunched for time. And so if I film, you know, I tend to not have a good workout and it's just, so I just haven't had a chance to do it. But I wanted to film this workout for you guys. This is basically I, I work legs like two to three times a week, and this is my, I guess, basic leg movements. Like, everyone should be incorporating these leg movements into your routine at least once per week. So this is that day that I work out and just do the basic essentials, okay? So I start out, I always start out with either leg extensions or leg curls. And it just kind of gets my legs warmed up. So I do the leg extensions and I usually do three to four sets. And I try to keep the motions a little bit slower and concentrate on bringing my legs back down slower. Same thing with a hamstring curl. I love, I, I alternate from the seated hamstring curl and the, the, the lying down hamstring curl um, just to change it up. But I love this particular machine. It's like the hoist machine and it feels amazing. Like it really helps target your hamstrings a lot. So here we're doing the leg press, which is another move I did, and I'm gonna show you my stance. I like to do a wide leg with my feet. My toes are like hanging off, if you can see right there. They're basically hanging off. I'm pushing through my heels the entire time, and what that does, keeping your feet up higher and pushing through your heels, is it helps you target your hamstrings and your glutes a lot more. And I like exaggerate my foot placement. And the higher up you bring them, the more you're gonna feel it in your hamstrings. You're gonna feel that stretch. Uh, so try it out next time you are on the leg press. So I did that with the two legs, and I did like, usually do about four sets or so. Then I go in and I like to kind of burn out with a lighter weight and, and 
higher reps. I usually do like 15 to 20 on these single legs and I'll do three to four sets and I won't rest between sets. So I'll do like all three to four sets back to back without rest. And again, you can see that I'm placing my foot really high up. My toes are basically hanging off and I'm kind of keeping the tension in my hamstring the entire time. So I never like I never pause. I'm just, it, it's literally like a burnout. And then sometimes I'll come in and I'll do like two legs at the same time. I just love burning out like this um, on the leg press. Moving on to another basic movement, stiff legs. I love doing stiff legs with dumbbells and the hip circle. It is my life. I love it. It feels so freaking good and I tried to squeeze my glutes at the top and I also tried to keep my um my hamstrings completely engaged the entire time so don't rest up at the top keep your ham hamstrings engaged and squeeze the glutes all at the same time this is like an excellent workout I absolutely love it and sometimes I'll do these um with uh single legs as well obviously without the hip trickle but yeah so what next up we did of course hip thrusts or glute bridges with a barbell. I usually do about four sets of these. I always use the hip circle just to keep my knees out. I focus on pushing through my heels to target the glutes and I usually start like this was my first set so I started with about 50 pounds and I'll go anywhere from 50 to like 80 pounds and I'll move up each set and I try to just like position my body to where I'm literally just focusing on my glutes and a little bit of hamstrings as well. So, the abductor machine. This thing, there's like a million different variations, okay? And I like to do them. This is my favorite va variation, and that's sitting up. My hands are placed on the machine just for balance, and you can actually go up and wait. Like, I just kept having to adjust it. But this is like the best, and I maintain tension the whole time. It targets my glutes, like my outer glutes, insanely. I absolutely love, love doing this variation. And I'll usually do really high reps on this too, like three sets of 15 to 20, and just kind of burn out on it. So there's two, two different um, views for you. And this was, this was actually, I was really tired this day. This was Monday, and it turned out to be my butts on fire. Turned out to be a really good workout. I always, always, always um, finish my leg workouts with walking lunges. It's just, and I'll, un I'll alternate between using a barbell, dumbbells, kettlebells. It just changes it up. I like to focus on pushing through my heels and I kind of make my steps a little bit longer, which helps target the glutes and hamstrings some more. I also did stiff legs um, but I didn't get to film it because there's too many people around the cable machine. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. I got home really late today. And was two hours late to eat my meal four. And quickly gathered my ingredients for it and demolished it as you just saw me eat the last piece of my rice cake, I realized I was doing a full day of eating and I forgot to vlog it. So I will just tell you why I had chicken, grilled chicken breast, four ounces, um, a little bit of shredded lettuce, mustard, if you didn't guess it already, and three rice cakes topped with some cinnamon. Plain rice cakes with cinnamon. It's okay. It's just what I eat when I'm in a hurry. Now it's meal four. And, uh, yeah. I gotta clean up the mess here. And get to doing life things. Meal five. Just some shredded lettuce, romaine, a couple of tomatoes, ground turkey, and this lemonade vitamin water zero and Ashton's little feast over there lots of yumminess it's a perfectly shaped chocolate 
chocolate chip cookie. Trying to kill her. And who? Oh. 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 Thank you, love. Sophia, what have you done? You claim yeah. to be a servant of God. That's a Delish.